What's up guys? Let's see how well we do today. Last session was actually surprisingly strong and we were beating some like not even like high accounts but people in like top 10 or top 20 or something like that. Multiple of those people so probably these can go as well but l let's see how we how we do today. Uh, also yesterday I had kind of short short stream because um you know things happened that way that i did like two videos and a stream yesterday and it was too much for one day but um yeah yesterday plarium announced a new fusion champion and i was kind of you know saying that it's okay uh like mid-level champion for hydra that like most people are gonna be using but actually in comments and in the stream people were saying that <laughs> No, nobody cares about the fusion, so... I don't know if it was just those people who happened to be there, but it seemed like people were even less excited for the fusion champion than I thought they would be. I mean, I think he's fine. We kind of need to see the multipliers, but... Obviously, it's not gonna be for BVP, so I'm not gonna care about it that much, but... I'm pretty certain I'm definitely gonna use it in my... Hydra teams. Anyway, let's let's dominate the arena ladder today. <laughs> okay, starting out with a pretty tough team, but at least we got the Dutchess. Picking Ankara here would have been a mistake because I definitely need some um, polymorph against this guy. We probably could, could actually maybe do this battle with, yeah, with, with Saldus if I can survive. Maybe I should go with Saldus and um, Necret, or should I go with Mikage just to have more Polymorph? Everything is so much better if you have them with Polymorph. If this Necret had 6 star Blessing instead of 4 star, would be way better. Like the thing is that even though like you know getting good champions and gear is like a big deal, but in many of these battles, you know, if you just proc the polymorph, that can be difference between the win or loss. If you just had all of your champions in six star blessing, your win percentage would like go up like crazy like amount. It, it, like I'm sure it would go up like um, I don't know. Depends on the person, but like. 10 20 percent it's like a massive massive deal i don't know who i want to ban we we could maybe have banned the sifi actually maybe that would have been the way to go nah nah i, I, I think marius is good yeah marius is good i either one of those but i i think we'll even though we we were trying to go with the polymorph but we don't really have that much of polymorph just Dutchess and armands and they banned armands um, and he'll have less damage, so I'll have more, more time to, uh, time to, like, uh, get something done. I mean, I have a double nuker, so I definitely have damage. It's more about if I can get any turns and do anything. If I can survive in this battle, like, I can kill him. Yeah, that's actually pretty good damage. I mean, my Rotos wouldn't have have done as much damage to Harima as the Staltos Nuke did. Oh, for obvious reasons, but you know, <laughs> it's better than the alternative. And the UDK isn't messing us up that much. If we didn't get the Narces, this would be totally impossible. But at least we got Narces as like one Nuker that is fine with this. And because let's say that the other nuker was not more, not good in this matchup, they will just ban a Staltos and it, it will suck. Well, I mean, I got I got the Armands to be fair, but you know, it depends. 
I think we got this. He only has one reviver. He doesn't have endless servability, so... It's not like I won't be able to kill the Sifi. And you know, my Duchess is pretty beefy with like 160,000 HP and bolster, and still kind of fast. I think she's maybe 270 speed or something like that. But it's just with Harim alone, without a lot of like control and like, you know, lockout or armaments or stuff like that, it's not that easy to kill it with Harima. It's not like she one-shots my Duchess. Okay, I, I think we got the first one in, in the bag. Haven't been playing Liberina every day like I used to. And there's actually surprisingly some like quite many people that actually do play it every day. And there's plenty of people that have like triple the amount of fights that I have done in Liberina or more, which is Honestly, kind of shocking because it's not like I haven't played Live Arena a lot, but not like every single day since it came. But I feel like even though I haven't really pulled new champions or really made any progression per se, but um, I'm almost doing like um, doing better than I was a while ago. I I, I think like my um, my rating right now is a little bit um, like like good amount lower than my actual account strength, so I'm a little bit um, under um, undervalued. I mean, I'm I'm still getting opponents that are like way 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 higher points than me all the time. Like yesterday, like we met so many people that were like ten thousand points and more. And we were doing just fine. What, why did I click the Duchess when everybody knows we I should pick the Armands? Okay, this might be a rough battle. Start, first two picks and there's like, you know, um, six primal pulls there. I'm sure this guy has pulled like Considering that's just two, two champions that he, he picked, like I'm sure he has like dozens, <laughs> dozens and dozens of primals on his account. So it is like you know, on on many many levels higher than you know my account. Uh, even though you know there's not that much benefit for like having plus one Krixia or plus Chiro, but you know he he obviously has pulled a lot of them. Uh, I'm kind of thinking, should I actually not go with Duchess? Let's see. Because Ankara is going to have great matchup against uh, Grixia. There's a good chance that we're not going to ban it, because I'm sure he has other scary things to do. But, okay, let's see what he does. Okay, he's only picking Primal Champions against me. Hmm... Should we just go with this? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of, you know, risky. I don't know if I should be Duchess over Mikage or not. Mikage is at least gonna get the turn at the start and gonna buff strip them. Though, I mean, obviously, <laughs> he has everybody in Polymorph. Okay, let's try this one instead of Duchess. Not like he doesn't have the damage to kill me, so... Okay, and you DK. Okay, let's see how much stone skin he has also, that's gonna be pretty relevant.
by the way, let, let's check after this battle what's Reddit saying about the new fusion. I'm sure they are talking about it. I don't think I don't think in my clan nobody talked about the new fusion yet. I, I don't think people care. I think probably most people are gonna do it for sure, but literally nobody was even even mildly hyped up out mildly hyped about the fusion. Let me double check, but yeah, I don't think it was even mentioned. People were talking about the event, um, the Deco Fate event, that was popular, but nobody cares about the fusion. Wait, should I go for um, the stun? I mean, he has the cleanse too. Should we do it? I don't know if this does anything, except I guess we can reduce their turn. Let's just actually open with the A2. He, he will have to delay his boss too, so maybe it's uh, better this way. I don't want to hit Galatir and rock his A1. Lazarus is stunned, so we can go for that. Come on, can, can we start out? I, I'm definitely not one yet, but come on. Would be nice to start out with the win against uh, one of these accounts. Ah, Polymorph. I mean, he has everybody in it, right? Wait, wait. Wait, this is kind of looking good. What? Ah, uh, no, no, Alas is still gonna kill us. There's no, there's no way we can actually beat this guy, surely. What? What? Too good to be true. Okay, the passive. Passive proc right there. I, I'm so suspicious, but I don't see how we can lose at this point. <laughs> okay, we we started out with the bank. I don't know I don't know what happened suddenly. Like the last video too we were we were dominating the top accounts. It's not like I have pulled some some kind of like miracle champion out of the like out of the ether or anything like that, but I guess I guess we're... I, I don't know what's happening. Are these people underestimating? Am I getting lucky? I mean, I got Polymorph there, so it's not like... Could have gone better, but I guess... I don't know. Maybe we have refined our strategies and... We, we can sometimes get these guys. To be honest, I think it's probably just the fact that... Um, people are playing a lot with the Primals that are super shiny and generally strong. But you can counter me easily with, you know... Well, he picked UDK. I banned the UDK, but you know, with um, Harriman UDK, I think those are still the easiest way to deal with me. But I guess I've gotten used to these matchups, and like last year, I definitely wouldn't have been as keen as, as am I now to like uh, fight against lockout. But to be honest, these days I'm pretty much always assuming that they're gonna have multiple lockouts, and I'm picking teams where I'm. I'm not even really planning to usually ban the lockout and I'm gonna ban like Harima or UDK or something like that, but okay, that that's a good start, I mean, obviously, I mean, again, nothing, nothing against IPR, I'm actually pretty fair, friendly with IPR as a clan, but you know, obviously his, like, you know, account is probably, probably a little bit better than my account, so I'm a little bit happy about winning those battles. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Now, now we got like you know much lower point opponent, and I'm sure if he picks like Harima and UDK, I, I will be in massive trouble. But yeah, I, I kind of you know 
recommend it to you guys too that I feel like lots of people kind of had to change their approach and many of the recent champions like Angora kind of help with this problem but you really can't um, if you're not super fast you can't really play the battles with the train of thought that you are just gonna ban their lockout and you're gonna deal with the other like pains in the teams because chances are that um, <laughs> all, all of the top accounts are gonna have like I don't know three to five different lockout champions or more than five different lockout champions usually they are gonna have at least two or more in every single battle okay yeah so okay this guy took yeah exactly so this guy took very different approach instead of picking the best primal champions that they have he's just picking the nougars that i have and now you know now it's gonna be a lot harder for me so um i don't know should i pick maybe udk and ankara here i could could do that maybe um Yeah, let, let's pick this. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's see what he does after this. Okay. Galater and Sifi, that's kind of, you know, tough. I mean, obviously we are gonna pick Wukong, but what's gonna be the other champion? I would otherwise be kind of tempted to go with Helicat, but he already has Galater and there's still one champion left. I don't know if Stalos is really gonna be that good here. <laughs> but I don't think we have other choices. Marius would have been kind of nice, but I guess we have to do this. Maybe I could even consider that instead of banning Galatir, maybe I go for the Narcissus ban. Should I go for Narcissus ban? Yeah, because if I ban the Narcissus and he happens to ban the... To, to be clear, he has Sifi and two lockout champions, so there's no way that my Armans is gonna go first. He doesn't have to ban the Armans, but I feel like this matchup is like heavily in his favor. Maybe he makes the mistake of banning my Armans and not UDK. That could be my, yeah, okay. That could be my win condition. Otherwise, I don't see how I could win this battle. But I think now maybe it's doable. You know, he his team was definitely faster, so he didn't need to ban the Armans in this matchup. But often people play it safe and ban it anyway. And he, you know, he, like it's the thing that I was just talking about that they always have two or more lockouts anyway and everybody goes before me I'm so used to this so I have I have gone through the train of thought of trying to trying to ban the lockout it's not doable and banning one lockout when he has two why would I even do that I mean I could have done it because Galatir does other things too and is very strong but in general I I consider those other options more. But, okay, this fight is definitely not won yet, though. It's very strong team, but... Uh, oh, wait. What? Did I resist the lockout on Wukong? What happened? I I didn't realize that. Okay, please, please give us the passive proc. If we get the passive proc, it would be nice. But it's going to be way less damage if we don't. Okay, that 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 must have been with the passive proc. Okay, I, I think we're good. At this point, you know, we still have the Ankara. Well, I guess she, she could get locked out too, but she might be able to cleanse me. 
and maybe maybe at this point I can just you know a one him down because the team is not that tanky and it, it's kind of low HP anyway. Okay, I, I think we're good. Okay, nice. Damn, we're <laughs> I'm actually having a fun time today. You know, winning is a lot more fun than losing. I, I don't know what to say, say about that. I know, um, um, uh, but Biohack said that interesting thing that, you know, you only need to win. I think it was on the video with Doc and Biohack that we did and with Cruzen that you only need to win more than 50% and you uh, like you you go up in ratings so if you just have the mentality that you can bear with um, getting a lot of losses you can definitely climb but you know just because you're climbing I don't think that's you know there's no incentive or reward or any kind of you know glory for just climbing points I, I guess there's a little bit but not really it's not like Platinum Arena where like finishing rank 1 means something because you know I mean obvi obviously it means something in live arena but you know a big part of that is also how many games you play and some people have you know more games than others so it's not quite the same thing but I feel like Plarium could do something about that though I mean I like the fact that other people have brought up that we could have seasons and seasonal rewards or tournaments like I really really hope that Platinum does something about Live Arena in the future though it was already released a year ago and there has been no updates on it so I wouldn't hold my candle on it but they should do it and I hope they do actually I have asked about it a couple times on Discord in the CC chat but I should probably mention it again <laughs> i feel like sometimes if you just keep saying the same same stuff to them they actually do it at some point so okay again he did like he's counter picking me hard like the last enemy this is kind of putting me in, in a pretzel Not sure if this is gonna go as well as the last, last battle. Okay. Let's get the... Wait, what? Okay. Let's get the Reddit um, fusion reactions up. Ah, Gizmak, ah. I, I hate Gizmak. I don't have enough Polymorph to deal with him, especially in this team that I packed. Picked. Chances are that he's gonna ban the Armands, and I'm literally not gonna have any poly Polymorph at all in my team. Unless I pick R Rotos and ban the UDK. Maybe maybe I will have to go with that. I, I was thinking of, you know... I guess he could still be Karima's third nuker, but I was thinking about going with Wukong and um Should I go with Wukong? Uh Okay, I, I think we lost this one. Maybe maybe we could actually still consider actually Oh he got that champion. I think hmm. I thought about banning the Narcissus, but maybe not. We don't have out of polymorph, so Gizmark is gonna <laughs> gonna destroy us too. Should we just go for the UDK ban and hope we can squeeze in a in a turn from Wukong? Maybe I'll go with that. Even if he you know he's obviously gonna kill my champions before I get my first turn. But maybe maybe Wukong can get revived and barely get one turn at some point. If he can just get one turn, I might be able to one-shot him in the first turn of Wukong without attack buff. Maybe. Ok, 
okay, everybody is in stone skin and my uh, Mikage was actually the slowest in the team. I wonder if I should actually open with the A2 instead of the uh, going to the other form. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Angora was also faster than him, so... Well, wait, it, yeah, it's not like I can use the A1 though. I mean A2, so maybe, maybe that was good. Okay, can we steal any stone skin? Oh, we, oh, we actually did. That's good. What? Okay, now he his team is incredibly slow, and me picking two champions with the uh, bus trip actually kind of paid off. We actually... Oh, fuck. We got Brock revived through the stone skin. That's not good. Okay. we There's no way we can make a comeback anymore. Yeah, okay, okay. No, not, not even close. Yeah. I... Mikage was the only polymorph, so that that was not gonna go well. Damn, I lost yesterday to that champion as well. He's kind of new, so I I think yesterday is the first time that I had a battle against it. Yeah, instantly we're, when we're not getting the first pick anymore, the battles are getting <laughs> getting way harder. Okay, even on even on Reddit, nobody's talking about the fusion. I guess that's how much <laughs> people care about him. I thought Reddit would talk about it, but no. Okay, he already picked three supports, so I guess we're just gonna go with Rotos and ignore the UDK. I wonder if I should pick... Um, I could go with Necrat on this one. Uh, wait, wait, not, not UDK, I mean Necrat. Okay, good. Okay, what is this? Seeds Manager update. Hello Raiders, my name is Sun, and today I want to propose you my own tool to manage all type of chaos that occurs during the siege. It is my first video in English, so, okay. Oh, it's a Russian content creator. Let me, let me put that on other screen just to make sure nothing uh, bad pops up. Oh, okay, yeah. I, we, it's like a sheet made to like control the teams uh, for a siege. We actually, we we, we, we have a, a one like that in my clan. Actually, not, not to brag, but probably better than the document this guy has, no offense, but one guy in our clan, uh, Vigarga, she put a lot of, uh, lot of thought into making a good spreadsheet for us. Should I go with Mitral just to have cleanse? This, this is not really the type of team that I often pick, but I think this is actually very good against him. Yeah, we, we learned from the first siege battle that... Um, okay, now we have no revivers though. That... It's not just about defending the stronghold, we basically put all our best teams on stronghold, but then some random rooms where people had good conditions and made the most out of their account were actually the ones that carried us so we will have to think about that too next time and not not just the best defense teams on vacuum without the conditions so i, I don't know how we will handle the the pe people's teams i don't know maybe people should also um like we basically looked at people's teams and decided who goes where and what teams they use with their account but probably people have to the best way is if people actually think about their own account and gear and come up with <laughs> with their own secret strategies that they might be able to pull off 
since the meta is clearly not gonna be the exact same in sieges as it is in classic arena because of the conditions it is actually pretty big deal though i'm sure you know obviously whales are gonna be able to probably use it better than some free-to-play accounts but it does give you like possibility that, that maybe you can outthink the enemy and um, outdo them but probably you know those big spenders with a lot of resources they probably can just uh, level up champions and build, build new teams if they m meet the enemy that um, they don't have the tools to deal with Who has poly? Oh, Angora has polymorph. I need to avoid hitting her with the A1. Okay. Only Marius doesn't have it. <laughs> even the Alas has a 6 star blessing and you can't even buy them with split souls, so this guy is probably not, uh, you know, probably not free to play. Okay, I mean, come on, Alas, don't don't solo me. It's looking good. Surely we got this right. I, I'm pretty scared of those uh, uh, Alases because I I have gotten destroyed by them in the past, and it's kind of pop popular. I actually see many of the big boy accounts using him a lot too. Oh, he okay, he gave up. Nice. That that's another win win for the book. So far, it's going very well. Oh my god, we have four wins and one loss and, you know, we, we haven't gotten any easy battles at all yet. Super hard enemies, actually. The, the hope will live so on. I mean, <laughs> even though I really, you know, want to get some new stuff, but okay, we're, we're doing kind of okay with our old stuff, actually. Oh, 14,000 14, points. What? I need to check... What rank is 14,000? I, I guess there has been so much inflation at the points that I'm getting shocked by the enemy points, but maybe they're not even that high up. L let's see how... What, what rank in Live Arena is 14,000 points? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything at all interesting on Reddit today. Ah, what? Okay, th this guy is looking a little bit more, more well, like he's actually coming up with a plus for everything. Though, to be fair, you know, two star blessing on Marius is, <laughs> is pretty free to play. I'm kind of surprised that he doesn't already have six star blessing on it, but I guess you can't can't really will those into existence. Yeah, ob obviously going with the same old, like, Duchess and Narciss. Duchess, Narciss is always my first pick nuker, so that I have more options and I'm not as easily countered by UDK and R base or Harima, and Duchess obviously when they have a lot of champions that do debuffs and might get polymorphed. Plus for you, Meko, but only plus two Siegfried. By the way, you know, that Siegfried is gonna hit so hard. I mean, I'm sure the Siegfried has like the best attack nuker gear on his account too, so it can do like 500k on the first hit and like 1 million damage on the AoE or something like that. He's going with triple nuker too. Interesting. Uh, should I go with Wukong? I kind of like to use Wukong against these teams because if he dies, I can get rid of the 
Marius uh, Enfeeble. Yeah, maybe we will go with this and we'll ban the Harima in, in this one. I guess Sifi is gonna be his last pick. So that he can rotate the lockout and have a revive. Okay, maybe he's not. He's thinking about something else since I picked the UDK. I thought he was just gonna insta lock in Sifi, but okay, uh, he still did it. Okay, he was really thinking about picking something else. But okay, it makes sense because you know, I'm sure they are both super fast. Um, I don't know if I can really get any turns, um, or like any turns where I'm not locked out. Even though Yumeko lockout is not like per moment uptime, but with the turn meter boost and lapping me super hard, maybe it actually is. But yeah, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna win this one. Also, the Armands is gonna be totally useless since he laps me so hard. It's you know, if I didn't pick Armands, he would he would have obviously picked it. So I I had to pick it. But at this point, it would be better if I had Angora instead of Armands. Yeah, only one one turn and we could actually do something, but obviously Armand is gonna die before his next turn. Oh, 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 we got the Polymorph. But he's he's still gonna... Yeah, sh surely Siegfried is gonna go before my Armands with all of the speed buffs and turn meter boost, but kind of close. Almost could have... If he would get a turn now, I would be good, but almost... Like, surely the Siegfried is still gonna move before me. Yeah, okay, and he can reduce my turn meter with the Yumeko A1. So close. Oh, 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 oh. What? We actually got the turn. I, I guess my Armands was so much faster than um, the Siegfront that it actually gave me a chance. Now, would I want to have a Polymorph here? Yumeko? I think Yumeko. Yeah, I, I think Yumeko. Interesting. Now, now we're actually getting to do something. Hmm. Okay, we're obviously gonna. I, I should go for the A two, even though we're gonna, you know. Siegfried is not gonna die, but if I if I did the A3, maybe maybe I could get the block bus step off oh fuck on the Siegfried, but Sifi wouldn't die, so But I, we're we're not safe yet, you know, we're we're still not 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 good, yeah. Okay, I, I think we still lost it, sadly. Eh, probably my dots is can, you know maybe I can stay in long enough to get it done. Um, I need to make sure though that uh, Siegfried needs to die before the other two. Or. Wait, ah. Okay, that's not good. M maybe, okay. C can I. I can still get the block buffs on them. No, oh, okay, all of them resisted. <laughs> I was thinking they wouldn't get the defense buff, but okay. I don't even have accuracy to do it. Nice, a weak hit. That, that's good. That could have killed us and ended the battle.
Damn. He's so he's so close to dying on the Marius. I can maybe just kill it with UDK. Ah, uh, come on, I really want to win this battle. Yeah, I'm just never getting a turn with that. Oh, I'm never getting the turn with Wukong and I instantly got it. Okay. Come on. Okay, now we're just gonna ignore the Yumeko. Oh, the passive again, okay. Mm, I mean, I, I, yeah, Siegfried is still gonna kill me. I don't know if it's uh, good enough. You know, if he just doesn't doesn't weak it on the big big noob, it's a uh, game over instant. Uh, I can't use the A3 because I think if I do this now, I'm just gonna lose, right? Yeah, he's just gonna revive everybody. I can't do it. I have to go for the A1. Wait. Yeah, and I don't have. I don't think I have the accuracy to. To get the attack debuff on them. Yeah, let's just do the shield. Okay, it's over. No, we hit again. <laughs> I think this is divine intervention. RNG Jesus really. Really wants me to get this win, but you know, we need to go through many hoops uh, to actually secure it. Okay, we, we got the wicked too. It's getting, it's getting very, um, uh, like su suspended. And I think, do, do, does it already have the passive? I feel like it has the passive again up. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it does, does the passive again the next time I'm about to kill it. Oh, oh. He got me, but didn't kill the... Um... Jatsus. Okay, come on. No wicked. Ah. I think that may have been it. I think we lost. Right? Ah, come on. Yeah, and now, now it has the passive up again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, okay, in, insta locked out. Yeah, maybe, maybe that didn't do much. Oh, come on, just just let me win. I want to win this one. Come on. Come on. What? How did it already have it? Now I'm confused. Yeah, it's just unkillable. Oh, menace. Now, how many times has the Siegfried rocked the passive in this battle? Come on, come on, don't do this to me. <laughs> Let me get the win. Come on, come on. Oh, he didn't weak it there, but uh, do you have... Ah, oh, fuck. I would have had the A3 now. And passive again. Ah, okay. We, yeah, we, we can't. It's it's unkillable. He he gets the passive back too fast. Okay, we tried. You know, we did pretty well. Oh, oh, obviously, you know, you know, it's not uh, 
it's not super even matchup, so we we did better than we could have to be honest. So can't get too too mad about that, you know. I want to win, but we tried, so it is what it is. L let's see how how high points he, how high rank is that? Oh, okay, so he's rank six. Okay, I was thinking that he said our people at like fifty thousand points or something, but no. Okay, so he was still like in in top ten. Fair enough. I don't know what happened, but I have like in the last like I don't know last couple of days I have fought like multiple people in in top twenty like many many people and we, we have done pretty good as well. Didn't we fight this guy today too? The rank twenty six. Yeah, yeah, we fought against that guy too. So they are not they are not giving us easy matchup to be honest. I I feel like. Um, I feel like Plarium gi should give me some kind of handicap against these guys, or at, at least let me have have more points if I get the win because, you know, of the situation. Anyway, can't get too sad about that, even though we lost, we we could have won it, but <laughs> Siegfried was also rotating the passive at a really close rate. What? And again somebody in like top 20 or top 30. What? Am I doing like too well and you know, may maybe there's some kind of, you know, hi hidden matchmaking rating or something like that. And I have done too well recently against these uh, Giga Chat accounts. And now it's just only giving me these guys and I'm not getting any like remotely even matchups. You know, you know, if they, if they give me some opponent that is like 4.8k rating, it's not like I'm gonna have better account than those guys either, but at least give me more of those instead of these guys. Like, come on. Okay, well, that doesn't actually look that bad yet. Other than the fact that everybody has six star blessing, which, you know, is strong and scary, but he only has one of them in Polymorph, which is a little bit odd, actually. I would definitely put that Harima at least in the polymorph. Okay, and and what now? Rotos? Yeah, I guess we're just gonna He's not playing the polymorph card, so I'll I'll play it as much as I can. Okay, Let, let's not get that far. Okay, we have we have to pick the UDK. Yeah, let, let's not be dumb. If, if I didn't pick the UDK here, he would certainly pick it. It would counter me and fit his team well, but let's hope that he doesn't have our base. So far he didn't pull out a single primal champion, and I'm sure this guy surely has some of the... Oh, interesting. Astralit and uh, Tuhanarak. Hmm, and obviously I can't ban them and he's gonna go first, so that's bad. We do have a couple polymorphs, but I don't know if that's enough to save us. Should I go with um, Necret to get double bolster? Definitely. The um, double, double bolster is not super relevant often these days, because many champions like Lazarus and Narses ignore it and even benefit out of it. It used to be something that I ran, ran in almost every battle and sometimes even triple bolster. At one point I was I was running a nuker mountain king in shield set as a meme and I even got some some wins with that and there, there was a couple fights where I literally had had quadruple uh, shield set in my team but these days I often have like no shield or or one bolster set. Okay, no polymorph. Not not looking good. Uh, oh, oh. Oh he he doesn't have attack buff to be oh he instantly surrendered. He doesn't have attack buff now that I think about it. So the bombs were not gonna hit that hard like you saw on the Duchess and I could have instantly 
blocked revive the astral there. I, I would have done that instead of the AOE, even though I didn't have anchor, so there wouldn't have been an extra turn. But okay, we will take it. I feel like it was maybe a little bit premature surrender from that guy, but I feel like we probably were gonna win at that point. And to be honest, to to be fair, even though he's like, let's see what rank he is. Oh, okay, he's like, yeah, he's not even, he's like top 50, where, t t here. He's ranked 33, so, you know, it's not like, um, for rank 33, his team didn't look that scary. But, you know, he still has Harima, of course, and 6 star blessings, so <laughs> plenty, plenty enough to deal with me, but, um, it's not like full team of prior models like some of the other fights that we had. But yeah, pretty pretty hype session. <laughs> Make sure to you know like and comment. I feel like uh, the last uh, this session and the last one we did super good. So this should be some of my uh, some of my most popular <laughs> popular videos. But you know I wasn't that active lately, so I don't think this is gonna be either. But you know. These these last two sessions might be my two best um, live arena sessions ever. Obviously, I've had bigger win streaks. I think I had like sixteen battle win streak at one point. But the enemies that I'm meeting are super hard lately. I'm kind of surprised myself that I'm winning against these guys, but we're. It's so many battle, battles that we won that it's not just a, you know, like a fluke, but I guess we're playing the odds and we know what to pick against them. But yeah, wouldn't mind some additional rewards or tournaments or anything anything to be added to the live arena because I feel like it's meant to be game mode that people play endlessly but we need some new stuff like the um, the co combat style in raid is meant for pvp that's why it's I know like people are coming up with all kinds of different reasons and they are spending money to advertise and so all, so are all of the other mobile game companies too but I think having played multiple of those games, for me what sets Raid apart from the other ones is that the combat is actually super good, even though it's not, you know, super balanced, but the combat is very good and interesting, and it's very suited for PvP. I feel like Plarium is not playing enough to their strength, they should do more with the PvP, but okay, what do we do here? Necret, again? Necret or Angora? Oh, he, yeah, he's the Angora, yeah. Haven't been using Necret at all, but today we had it in multiple battles. But yeah, we we need tournaments and some other other stuff, um, new new updates for Live Arena. I still still think that Live Arena is the best game mode in Raid. And, you know, but if there's nothing done to it ever, like, it uh, it gets stale. The, th this game mode really needs some 
seasonal events. It, it has to be like other stuff. I mean, we have tournaments and events. So it, it's not like Barium isn't already doing it. They really need to do it for Live Arena. Okay, after after this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to try to talk about it in the content creator chat again. Let, let's see if I get any sort of response from the community managers. No, not like you know they can they can make things done just because they want to or we ask about it and they agree. But my might, might as well try. I was actually talking about some um, you know things related to cheating. I was, um, they were asking about that stuff from me yesterday, I think, or the day before. And I was telling, telling them some stuff I'm not even gonna mention in the videos because, you know, I don't exactly, <laughs> I don't exactly want to people to know about it. And I don't, you know, based on the recent events, I don't really, um, I, I don't trust that information to other, other people <laughs> playing this game. But I did tell a bunch of stuff for, Plarium that they were asking about and they seemed kind of interested to know about the different hacking stuff so maybe maybe they are actually trying to do something hopefully wait should i even kill the yumeko i probably should just directly go after the angora but maybe maybe, maybe i can do it too yeah we'll, we'll do both of them it's good to have the yumeko at low hp so that i might be able to kill it when i need it but we, yeah, we basically need extra turn proc on Rotos, otherwise it's uh, done. Yeah, if I get extra turn here, I think I I can win. Okay, we didn't get it. If I got extra turn, I could have killed the Siegfried with A3 and then Ankara with A2, at least if I proc the Helm Smasher. Maybe without it too, since it didn't have a shield or anything, but I think it's too late. Maybe... Wait... Right? Surely it's too late. Do I even need to use the... We, we probably still lost either way, but okay, let, let, let's see what happens. Kind of, yeah, kind of, oh, oh, oh. No, no way. We got lucky there. We, we we would have lost it otherwise, but we got to decrease defense. We, we got counter attack proc and decrease defense from it. I think that's enough, yeah. Otherwise, we, I don't think we would have, would have killed the Taras, so we kind of got... Lucky there, to be fair, but I mean, we could have brought Polymorph, he could have brought Polymorph, there's a lot of R and G, but um, yeah, th that was nice. I, I would have rather won the t 10 minute battle against the rank 6 guy though. <laughs> I feel like that was even closer and I had higher chance to win that battle than this one, but um, we'll take all the wins that, that we can get. But by the way, tomorrow I'll have interesting video where we're gonna do collab with um, uh, Drog, Noob, and Cruz, and so look forward to that. Uh, well, no, the, the, okay, we'll do it tomorrow, but the video is not gonna be out out tomorrow. Probably on Monday, maybe. You know when <laughs> when people are from different countries with totally different time zones. It's kind of hard to um, to manage that and lock in a time. So been trying to to get a time that works for everybody for the last couple of days. But okay, we we got it done yesterday, and, <laughs> and we'll do it on Sunday. We're gonna make a video about the sieges, so stay tuned for that.
I feel like I kind of want to get uh, UDK for Taras A2, but he does have Mikage, so I don't know how much it's actually gonna do, but I feel like it's gonna be better than Necrot in this situation. Yeah. Mikake could have been good too, because it would be nice to be able to bar strip him, but I don't really have other options left. N no Grixia or Galatir sadly, but if he didn't pick the Mikake, I probably would have picked it myself. do I want to ban here? I, d I don't think we're gonna... or should I go for the lockout one? There's a, like, there's a tiny chance that he wouldn't ban the Armands, but almost certainly he's gonna ban it, so... Uh, now let let's still go for the lockout, just to be safe. But <laughs> I don't know if we have a good match up here actually Okay, Mika, okay. Do, do your worst. Let, let's see what you can do. Also, I'm pretty sure Protoss has higher crit damage than Narthus, sadly, in this situation. So, Narthus is gonna get stunned if he... Okay, he didn't use it, but if he did, Narthus would have uh, missed his turn. Should I use the A2 even though we can only hit Mikake? Probably, yeah, probably I should do it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of thought about banning him but I I still decided to go with the, with the warlord maybe that was a mistake okay yeah we we definitely lost this one I mean he obviously could get polymorph but I don't have any polymorph outside of Rotos in this team so oh okay <laughs> he did get now but it's a little bit too late that, that doesn't uh doesn't do anything for us anymore. If, if that happened in the last turn, we, we would have for sure won it, but, but now it's too late. Okay, come on. We still have plenty of time to do a couple more battles. Let's get the massive win- oh, high points. Let's get the massive win streak. Another one, I mean. 8,000 points. So this guy, I think he's like in top 50, maybe? Somewhere, somewhere around top 50. Mm. 
Mm, okay, yeah, th th this is a tricky one. He has basically triple lockout. <laughs> Uh, and we can only ban Armands, and he's still gonna have two, possibly more, but at least two. <laughs> Imagine if he picks like one Nuker and Galatir, then he would have four lockouts in his team. But um, I guess, yeah, we definitely want to go with Ankara in this battle. I, I leave my Nuker as the last pick actually. But who else can I even pick here? Nekret? Lazarus is gonna ignore her shields. I don't know if it's gonna be that good. Mikage or Nekret? Let's go with Mikage. Mikage is gonna be strong affinity against Lazarus too, so m maybe that helps. Interesting. He went with Triple Nuker. Lazarus is the only reviving his team. Who do I want to pick? Rotos? I think I'm still gonna go with Rotos. I was kind of thinking about Staldus and Wukong, but... Mm. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, still gonna go with Rotos. Staldus and Wukong don't have stone skin. We definitely want to get the stone skin here. But it's looking, obviously. A very hard matchup for us. I wish Warlord wasn't void affinity, so he could weak hit like the primal lockout scan but you know th that's that's the um, even though warlord is kind of considered outdated but that's the one big strength that he has that he actually is not gonna weak it ever oh nice <laughs> we we procked um frostbite to be set on the warlord Oh, 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 an extra turn. That's good. I mean, Ronda can obviously still crucify us, but it, it's still good to, to get something something done. I, I thought Warlord might maybe die, but I guess it's kind of tanky and had the strength, but maybe maybe we didn't proc the Helm Smasher on the last hit. Ugh. Lazarus is, is hitting way too hard. You know, my Duchess is... 160k health, be insanely tanky. I mean, pretty much the most tanky Duchess that you will ever meet, and she barely survived it. Oh, 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 nice, we got the revive. Okay, th that was kind of lucky, but <laughs> we really needed that. But then again, Lazarus is just, you know, gonna get another turn. Nah, not enough damage. <laughs> Would have been if I had bone armor, but definitely the yeah, okay, De definitely still I need the uh, um, polymorph more than bone armor. Sometimes some battles bone armor would be better, but definitely overall polymorph is better for me. If I had multiple more of my main champions, like I don't know. Ankara and U UDK and so on. If I had those with 6 star Blessing and Polymorph, then I would put Rotos back to Ward of the Fallen, but I don't think I'm ever gonna have enough champi champions with 6 star Blessing to actually do it. Because you basically get one new champion with 6 star Blessing every year or every 8 months, so maybe like, like 3 champions in 2 years or something like that. And you know, some of the other people that we meet have like dozens and dozens of champions with 
six star blessing already so obviously the the spending does make a small de difference Ankara and what's the last one? Brothers or Wukong? I'm kind of thinking if I go with Wukong and Bante Harima. Might be good against the Lazarius, but then Grixia might weak it against Rodos. It's kind of hard decision, but okay, let's go with Rodos. I mean, he has the polymorph too, so. Oh, Shu Chen. <laughs> he, with um, Shu Chen, Grixi, and Sifi, he's gonna have insane turn meter manipulation. <laughs> I'm, I'm never gonna get uh, a turn when I'm not locked out, unless I happen to rock A1 with Ankara. And even if I do that, maybe maybe they're still gonna lock me out before I before I get a turn and actually can use it. Okay, we we didn't get the um, enfeeble. That's kind of good. If, but are we are we even gonna get the turn before the yeah the Marius? Yeah, he's gonna take another turn. Okay, and of course now we got it. Okay, may, maybe we can can we broke an extra turn? Maybe no. Okay, not not looking good. But Sifi is not very tanky, though I I could just kill it with A once, assuming that I can survive long enough to get a couple of turns, but we will see about that. Yeah, he's outlapping me so hard, he's taking like two or three turns for every one turn that I get. Come on, polymorph. Polymorph? No, okay. But no NV, uh, yeah, he's he's gonna take another turn before Narcissus. And my Narcissus is like 255 speed or something like that. It sounds like he's slow, but he has so much turn meter boost and speed buff and so on. Come on. Polymorph? No. He got the Enfeeble on Darcis, but. We didn't get the polymorph that we that we really wanted. Ah, uh, and he he got the turn before Marius. And the polymorph. Uh, I mean the not the polymorph. <laughs> I re I wish it was polymorph, but he got the enfeeble. Okay, I think we lost it. I think we have revive on Dutchess, but I don't know if that even. Oh wait, wait. is he gonna lock out? Oh, okay. Yeah, I would have had the revive there, but we got locked out and. And yeah, this is like you know going dust. We totally could have won it if we just got polymorph from Marius, but we never did. So, or if we didn't, if we didn't get the NV people there, and I actually got to do a turn with. Uh, with Narcissus, then we would have also won, so it was still super close.
Well, I guess people stopped playing. Maybe I need to do a little bit cut here if I can't get an enemy. Okay, that's an interesting name. <laughs> Momo Momo Yuyu. Mom, Momo Yuyu. I can't exactly pronounce it uh, super well. We we don't have the uh, Y in in Finnish, and I guess we do have U, but it's not very common. Um, common letter. Well, okay, we do have Y, but it's you know very very rarely in some words. Both of them are kind of unusual letters in the Finnish alphabet. Like one example, um, the word innocent in Finnish, in Finnish, in Finnish would be suitan. So there you have like double Y, but it's not not very common. Or pro prosecutor in Finnish would be suuttaja. So th there's also. Double Y and it's almost the same word as well. Maybe I'll save the second pick, uh, the second Nougar as the last pick. May maybe we will go with Staldos. I kind of want to see what he picks first, though. But yes, one of those situations. I don't really have anything, anything good to pick here. None, none of my picks here would, would, would really work against this team. Like, I might as well go with something weird like Ludia. Necrit isn't gonna work here. Maybe I just go with uh, Mitrova. But okay, let's see what you have, Momo Yuyu. <laughs> Can you? Can you destroy us or not? Oh, okay. UDK? Fair enough. Um, okay, I should have picked UDK. Now I'm being silly. He has the, he has the armor, so we kind of can't ban the UDK. I, I, yeah, I should have just... I'm getting tired now. I should have just picked UDK because there was nothing else to pick anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we, we lost this battle. There's... No way in hell I can I can win this one. You, you know, UDK wouldn't really have done anything against Lazarus or Angora, or you know. But I, I would I should have still picked him anyway, just just so that he couldn't pick it. That, that, that was a massive mistake. I don't think I don't think any even polymorph or anything can save us in this battle. Yeah, <laughs> we we can almost already surrender it.
I, th I think he's gonna die even if he procs reaction. Yeah. He died even with the reaction. Okay, now, wait, how many losses is that in draw? I think we got like three losses in draw. Getting the first pick Armands is super powerful, as you can see. Okay, he, he he can be QDK again, but at least this time we can ban it, so we're just gonna go with this. I really want to get the Duchess for Polymorph and to have the, have the second Reviver and so on. But yeah, he's going with Triple Nuker. <laughs> he's confident that he, he's faster than me, so he can pull that off. Okay, nice. Th that's um, a good start, at least. Yeah. <laughs> can we get another polymorph on Marius, or can we just somehow avoid the enfeeble on Narthus? Okay, that's good. Wait, okay. We can instantly block revive it. I think we have enough damage. Yeah, oh, oh no. Almost. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. No, no, Rotos can't do anything. Oh fuck! And we even got extra turn and lost the lost the boss on us. I think we maybe got this though. Yeah, even though he doesn't have shield buff, but. We're certainly gonna kill the Nougars, at least. Okay, nice. How, how many... Well, no, we had four losses in draw before that. Damn, that, yeah, that kind of stings, but okay. We, we had a great start, so even though we had that massive, massive lo loss streak, it's still an okay session, I guess. But it could have been way better, to be fair. Okay, let's see, let's see what you got, Maladets. But by the way, I was thinking about it. A little bit and like 
the plan was to go for Narciss or Angara six star next. I, I, by the way, I haven't gotten either one of th those two in the split soul shop. I could like upgrade both of them. They're not all the way to six star, but to five. But I think considering that I'm always picking Narciss if I can, and not always Angara, I should go for Narciss six first. I, I mean, that's a pretty obvious thing, but yeah. I'm gonna go for him first. Can I still pick one Immunity Champion, but okay, what if I... Like, no, okay. I was I was thinking thinking fancily that maybe I'll go with Thormin and Mitral, but now let's just go with uh, these two, Stratos and Anchor, and then we'll ban the Sifi. Can we do it? We kind of could do it to be honest. Let's let's go for the Sifi ban. It's once in a new moon that I actually have the opportunity to to, to ban their reviver, but maybe we can get away with it in this battle. Oh, it's it's a support Wukong, I guess. Ah, oh, and <laughs> One is Polymorph and the other one is... Uh, oh, never mind, okay. The other one is Enfeeble, so... Our Nougars kind of got screwed at the start, but okay, can we get the turn on the Stalos? Maybe it's okay. Yeah, I, I think we're good at this point. Even though they have defense buff, but... Stalos did enough damage that he should be able to... Kill them on next turn, I think. Maybe not with the both heal and shield. Maybe, maybe. Okay, never mind. Now it's looking kind of bad. No? Okay, no in people. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. I think that's it. No? Ah, oh, okay. Ob obviously Wukong can get still up and he also has the Lazarus, so maybe we lost? Uh, yeah, and the... not Lazarus, I mean the... Marius is gonna move before us, so... Okay, we lost it, we lost it. Damn. Almost look good, but <laughs> I don't think we could even kill the UDK in one versus one. Never mind the fact that Wukong is gonna get it back up. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I mean, we, we could have won that, we could have had better RNG, but you can't always win. We're getting like the exact same matchup again. Uh, I mean, we could ban maybe Harima this time. I feel like I'm just gonna end up picking the same stuff though. Or mm, 
maybe we just go with the double reviver again and we'll have more polymorph with Rodos and we'll ban the um, Arima. Maybe that's the way to go. I know, I'm not Arima, I mean UDK. And we just we get some polymorphs and we do it that way. Maybe, maybe that's the way to go. Yeah. Even, even in this matchup against both UDK and Arima, we're still gonna go with Rotos instead of Staldos. That that's how how much um, data I have in in Staldos. Maybe we can do it this time. Uh, one more reaction broke and he wouldn't have died. Uh, I don't think I... Yeah, I don't think I want to... Um, revive it. Can we kill the Marius? I don't know if we can kill the Marius with the... With the Harima passive. Maybe. Probably not. Okay, kind of close. Okay, we're we're not getting the polymorph rocks that I needed. It's kind of looking bad. Should I go for A1 or A2? I think we have to go for A2. Even though I want to save it to cleanse the enfeebles, but I think we're gonna die otherwise. Okay, I, th I think we lost it. Almost got the Marius, god damn it. If I killed it then maybe, maybe we could have done it. Okay, it's a loss. Happens to, to too strong for us, I don't I don't have the champions to deal with that. Not until I I pull my own Harima at least that they can't always pick it against me. Okay. Third time in row. I know some people would just, you know, avoid cubing if they meet an enemy that um, has the champions that you can battle against, but we're just, I, I never do that. I always go for it again. And to be fair, we could have won all of those battles. It's just, we need polymorph procs and then we can win. It's not a fun way that that's your only win condition, but th that's how it is. And, uh, do I really want to pick the... No, yeah, no, yeah, now I'm not even gonna pick UDK. He already got the Arman, so it is what it is.
would be kind of interesting to see live arena meta if UDK and Harma didn't exist. Because, you know, if they didn't exist, and I guess our base too, then Rotos would be super bonkers. Like he used to be back in the day, but honestly, I feel like blessings and the new item sets and so on, Rotos always benefits out of everything more than like most champions in the game. Do we do we really want to get enfeebled instantly? I don't, uh, we have to switch the form eventually anyway, but I don't know if we can kill the Rotos with the ally attack. Okay, definitely not with the reaction rocks. Ah, we're never getting any any polymorph. I don't think I can kill Marius here, yeah. Yeah, we, we still lost it as it's over. Don't don't have the polymorph on Ankor, sadly. If, if I had it, I think uh, we would have much higher chance to win in these matchups. I really want to get it on both Ankor and Narsus, but... It is what it is. I think we have time for one more after yeah, after this one. Okay, let's let's queue fast. Oh, are, are we gonna have to do multiple one minute queues again? In the start of the session it was super popping and we were meeting tons of people, tons of different people and getting instant queues, but I guess people are kind of dropping off at the end. Two hours is a lot of time to spend doing live arena every day. Wait, what? I don't even know what is that avatar. Maybe it's some new one that I missed, but I don't even know what that one is. Okay, that's gonna be, I'm sure, the last... Last... <laughs> I was gonna say it's gonna be the last battle of the day, but apparently not. He, he wanted to prove me wrong, I guess. Okay. This is gonna be the last battle of the day, okay. Let's make the last one a win. That one doesn't count because we might have technically won, but it wasn't a win.
Oh, it's a different guy, but it's pretty much the, the same team comp again. At least we got the other ones, we, we were the first pick and we got the UDK, so maybe it will go better this time. I kind of have better team against this setup like than in those other battles. Okay, Rotos didn't get the weak hit sadly though, that's kind of a big deal. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Mm, maybe that's good enough for the win. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe, maybe not, let's see first. Re resetting the cooldowns is pretty OP. Oh, okay, nice, double polymorph. That's it. Wait, do I oh, okay. I was gonna say, do we have time for a third battle after I said it's the final one? Because, you know, it... <laughs> It um, it went so fast, but barely not enough. Eh, in in the end, we were doing pretty terribly, as you can see. But can't win every time, and we had very good starts, so it kind of evens it out. I mean, yeah, it, it looks kind of bad when we look at the end, but it is what it is. Yeah, have a nice weekend, and see ya.